graphics so we can um, learn a little bit and nerd out because I this is about as quiet as it gets in the biz. 79 degrees out there right now. It is calm, quiet, and extremely dry. So we are dealing with 42 degree dew points. And at this time of the year, uh, they can fluctuate into the 70s. And that's how you get tor tornadoes and active weather. And we're stepping into what is one of our most active tornado times of the year, late May and then June. But uh, you, you have to have moisture to have anything. You got to connect up with some type of moisture stream, which is the ocean. And that's what we'll talk about here. So you're dealing with the cool down right now in Milwaukee, but really nice. There's 70, nice lake breeze today. Most of the time it punishes them, but today it's enjoyable. 81 in Baraboo, 79 in Madison, and 81 in Janesville. Platteville, 79. Perfect day. It's a pool day and a nice day, and it's going to be a great evening to sit outside. I mean, we just are, we're going to fill up the month of May. It might be one of the all time best months of May I've ever seen because typically it's windy, it's rainy, stormy. That's just not the case. So what's going on? Well, I've just made this graphic for you. Ow, ow. Let me try again. I want to put the wind directions on there. Okay, well, the wind, I'll show you later. But what's really happening right now is the wind that was showing you, I follow the winds at the surface, it carries the moisture. So the wind right now is down like this in the New Orleans, and then the wind pivots and goes to Florida. Well, it literally, you just follow the moisture. Hard to believe this, but this moisture can actually come all the way up and sit on Wisconsin. So with having that south wind pushing back down towards New Orleans, it's given nobody rain. Nobody can get rain until we activate the Gulf of Mexico. That's why I don't make graphics mid-show. All right, so here's what we're looking at. With the lack of moisture, high pressure will drift to the south. And look, you get this rain that turns into nothing. And that's because it's running into that dry air, that lack of moisture that I was talking about. So yes, we have a front on Wednesday. It's just going to be blah. Maybe you see a sprinkle or maybe you see nothing. High pressure comes in. I don't trust any rain right now because this is a Canadian high. Very quiet, very calm, and cooler Wednesday and Thursday. So rain, we've seen 0.87 so far this month, average is four. The good news is with our 11.66 inches to date, we're still above average. So we are not anywhere near a drought, but your, your grass doesn't dictate if you're in a drought or not. Right? Grass, grass is volatile week to week. But if it doesn't rain the rest of the month, you're looking at the top five driest maize on record. This would put us uh, at sixth, and I actually expect not a drop and that feels like such a hyperbole statement but i really don't think we're gonna see rain this is the this is my favorite model the european model the next seven days of rain it gives us 0.0, .0. i i can't remember a time at this time of the year where it's just given us nada i mean the model's usually going to give you something or an opportunity well here's what is actually going to happen it's going to be a nice night in the low 50s tomorrow 80s pool day here comes your front We'll drop into the 60s by Wednesday. Should be very enjoyable into the week. 68, 68, and Thursday. And then we'll hit the string of upper 70s and low 80s as we head into your holiday weekend. Sunshine every day. Can't wait to see that graphic later. I'm going to tune mm -hmm. in. To I'm actually mad at, at that. I'm mad so at that. So we can see it. Wind speed, right? If it's a streamline, the winds. Yeah. I, I, it popped up for like a second. I know. I just wanted, had to, it. I wanted to tease myself and make myself angry. Gosh. All right. Yeah. That maybe, made me go heavy on the quietest day of all time. All right. So. Maybe we'll see it at six. Yeah. We'll give you some time.